<laughs> so I did one thing wrong, a little, a little boo boo at the start, uh, which is when I first imported this, I started chopping it up and chopping it up without hitting generate colliders. I just exported a secondary version of this uh, named tech2. And you'll notice that when I did this, before I started chopping it up, I hit generate colliders. So now when I drag this out there and hit play, all of these objects have colliders on them to begin with. This one does, this one does. So you have to, so you have to import them and then immediately give them colliders? Yeah, so it's one of those things where it cascades differently. And oh, once you start, when, like when you first then say separate this out into the separate components, that breaks its connection to that initial thing. Oh, it's like the shape yeah. of in Maya where if you do yeah. any sort of huge like deformation to it, it goes away. Yeah. Uh, so you'll notice that when this added it, all these got a mesh collider added of their specific thing. And some of these you might not need it. I actually figured it out before you start talking right about it. <laughs> I'm actually going to hit that. I delete all my hard work here. I could go through and add these individually, but that is a very sucky thing because you'd have to manually say which meshes you want. So it's much better to instead generate colliders. Drag this in. And play. So did you generate the on the three themselves? No, so uh, I did one thing wrong right from the beginning. This is one of those classic step one, turn on bathtub water. Step two, get into the bathtub. Step three, take clothes off first. <laughs> Instructions. Yeah. This is something you should do first. Uh, and I'm sorry I, you missed that. <laughs> Oops. But so the first thing I do is before I start chopping up these prefabs, generate colliders. Now you'll notice every single one of these has a nice collider on it, already set to itself. And again, I set the scale factor to 100. That's cool. They didn't have that in the old Unity. That's really nice. That they have that. Now I'm going to start chopping it. Right click. Where is it? Uh, unparent. Break parent. Assets. Break parent. Give object. Oh. Clear parent. And I can start making the separated ones. Separate. So I like this floor asset. I like this light being inside uh, that one. And now I can hit F2 to rename these. And what else do I need? Ah, yes, the roof. Which I also want to move this light in there. I'm dragging this in. This becomes a prefab. Look that. Now I can delete all this stuff that I don't actually want. Drag these in. Duplicate this. I'll use Vertex Snap. Just because it's that new flavor in your ear. Hold Control. This out, and then use bird snap, which again is V. Hover over the thing you want, and then click to the one you want to connect to.
Alright. So my tech materials on all these. And my light. And these. Ah, damn it. You know what else I think? The other step three, get into bathtub first. I think I just did, I think. Is I bet the best way to do this is instead of marking all these as static. Is there a way to make this as static separately before you get in here? I don't think so. Alright, well fine, we'll do it here. Actually, here, we'll make these. They're separate. So again, Control Shift N to create a new game object. You can rename it. Well, uh, the next one. Alright. Hall, not wall. Drag all these in there. Mark this one as static. Yes, change the children. And under my assets, models, prefab, assembled, we can drag this in as prefab now. We don't want that directional light. So now, if I had play, because way at the start of the import I had the right setting. I had this guy and he can fall to his death. <laughs> I just parented the camera to him. And I think there's some prefabs of nicer cameras, but whatever. A little bit. Oh. Oh, one. Make sure that if you're pl pressing play to see how your game plays, uh, on uh, if you pause, you can zoom around. But any changes you make while it's been uh, played actually will not cascade down. So don't make that accidental, boo boo. There we are. Parented it to the wrong. There we are. Then uh, he dies. So if I got a materials, I'll actually stick the shiny material in him. Because now we can test. Put on a metal cap. He does not like the backwards button. <laughs> and you'll notice that this looks incorrect. But now when we start adding those light reflection probes, it takes a bit to bake. Yeah, it looks a little better. And if I duplicate this hallway, which again is marked as static, We could actually take these, uh, this series of models, and you're going to have a, a couple of long hallways, right? So why not go into prefabs assembled and drag these four hallways? All right, all right. Before I do that, what did I just do? instead create a new object. Name it all 1x4 straight. Stick them in there. We have this one. Well, that's everything. 
So now it takes a bit for this reflection probe to be. But you'll notice that now I have instances of instances. So they all cascade. So I'll start with this one. This is my good one. I've talked in the past about losing valuable time on projects because I do things like nitpick about UVs when guess what? The client never sees it. And I think my rigging background kind of comes out here and causes the same problem. So now this has nice clean transformation. What's up, Phil? I just wanted to uh, announce for anybody that cares that um, I don't think anyone here really affects anyone. The purchase order for our booth at PAX has actually been signed. So it's a really big deal because the company's, the, the, uh, the school, yeah, you, you care about this. So I actually have the, the, the financial guy's signature on it. It's actually going out. We have a 10 by 20 booth and it's actually Two, two doors closer to the door than we were last year. Yeah. So anyway, just pass that along. Noise. Yeah, I just wanted to know, cool. has everyone at the department worked on your file yet? On your I, I, so. I just wanted to know, anyone that hasn't worked on I did. I know you did. Anyone that hasn't yet worked on her environment concept, because you just oh, like, yeah, you showed me it. I gave her a piece of it. As long as you have an opinion about it and touch a pixel on it, it's okay. Touch a pixel. The community project. Community project. <laughs> You have to give every, the credits are going to be hell at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just wanted to pass that along. <laughs> all right, now that I had a plan on all this, so hopefully this one. Yay. All right. So now with both of these here, it takes a while. Now this reflection probe, you'll notice, there's more holly grabbing it. So if I hit play, Poor Ethan. It was a lot longer before he hits the. Oh my God. I don't know why that is. What is happening? What's going on? I think it has like a Wait, well something to do with like the mesh, like the mesh collider scale or something. So you'll notice that as he exits uh, the distance of that probe, it transitions very unpleasantly. But let's try making some extra reflection probes just every once in a while. So this is one. Let's see. So there's about where he starts. There's one that's going to have a lot of this background of our environment. Move on to around here. So, what happens when, like, reflection, uh, when, like, an area of refre a reflection probe, like, overlaps another one? Does that make it like extra reflection? It should blend okay. uh, very naturally. Again, Unity's gotten pretty dope about this stuff. Oh, it's still big. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, school computers. I'm gonna have to not play while it's baking. Oh, so, so it should just average out at that point? Yeah, uh, and I have to double check, and that's what we're doing right now. You might have to have them big enough that they overlap. Uh, so, uh, and I think that's what's gonna happen. So I think when it goes from this reflection probe to this one to this one, when it hits these blank spots, 
I think it's going to revert to the skybox. Here's the tip to make your reflections probes bake faster. Don't record 920 by 1080 video while you do it. Oh no. Nice. What is it? Matt doesn't do that. Oh, damn it, I used a weird word. It doesn't matter. YouTube's gonna squash it and make it all look crappy anyway. Normally I try to do 1280 by 720. So now, let's see what I have. Oh! Popped out. There we are. Oh, popped out. So that did not work, right? So let's try it and take some of the in. Let's just get down to. So this one will represent our big hallway. We can change this to have a size setting of X, Y, Z. This one I'll say 40. This one also 30. I don't know if there's total overlap. So let's set this to 50 actually. Slowly blends in. Oh my It's a pretty slow transition, right? And that's very harsh. You could create one. I don't know. Yes. No, there's not, but it's free. You should all have this at home. Absolutely, by now. Just so you know, Unity, Unity is free. Yeah, Unity is free. Unity, I think, has the most altruistic <laughs> model you can still have before becoming uh, what I like, which is, you know... Pro version is not worth it. It's yeah. like so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's like a no. and they, don't, they don't require you to buy a pro version yeah. until your game has made $100,000, and maybe I'll be so lucky. So yeah, at that point it's like, okay, cool, yeah, it's like, oh, no worries, yeah, gladly take my money. See, did you see that? So watch this now. This is the one that's at the edge. Oh, it's not a nice transition. It's almost like going but, from indoors to outdoors. But I added this one that he passes through, and now it's a slow transition when he enters into the skybox. That's harsh, still. See, this one's nice and smooth. Yeah. <laughs> so that one was smoother. So at that point, it's just finicking with, like, setting and yeah. dials and stuff. I mean, it, I bet if we looked at them, there would be something that we can notice. But so this time... Just that notice that slow transition. That yeah, that wasn't oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet there's too many probes. Because this one's down here. So, no. so I think there are three different uh, probes covering that area. And now there should be... Yeah, see now it doesn't have to decide which one. It's a little smoother. 
This is how I play video games, by the way. Just slowly trying to break them. So you make a fabulous playtester? Alright, don't insult me. I'm not insulting. I'm just saying. Say that nice smooth transition. I'm not looking at whether it's a fun game at all. I'm a terrible playtester in that sense. Well, yeah, that's not what playtesting is about. Playtesting is finding out if everything's broken or if everything looks I mean, I don't want to fix their bodies. I want to copy their beauty. <laughs> Alright, so everyone understands reflection probes now? Yeah. Totally, perfectly. <laughs> sure. It's to yeah. totally not obtuse anymore, right? Uh -huh. The thing to understand is that at some point, if you're doing this maze uh, and you don't have it open, you're going to hit a point where there's no lights, so you're not going to have a directional light coming in. You're going to want these lights doing all your illumination. And in fact, let me see something. Let me delete. Let me delete some of these probes. And delete some of these hallways. Let's create a capped. I'm going to go into my assets now and create a model and a prefab. Assemble. And a prefab separate. I need to bring this. So I'm going to bring another tech asset in here just so I can rip it apart. Like, that's a thing. Hey, Am I in trouble? Uh, yes. Because you didn't give me a high five earlier. Really? I've got a shoulder thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, Oscar, did you put on a little bit of weight? Because I'm looking at you and it looks like you got a lot of bullshit right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason comes in swinging. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sheesh. He's the dude who comes into the party and he's like, look at my I'll have you know. <laughs> I'll have you know, Jason, supposedly Jason. <laughs> or whoever I, you are. I had diarrhea <laughs> recently and <laughs> lost weight. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there. I'll let you know. I'll admit, I was <laughs> not expecting that response. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst teacher ever. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, you guys sent your practice in so I can get all my diarrhea jokes out. Like I wasn't before. Wait, you guys are on the maze already? Uh, or are you yeah. having that second? Uh, yeah, they're doing the maze right now. Oh, okay. I think they're doing the maze. Mostly people just do Matt's homework in my class. <laughs> that sounds about yeah. right. Hurt, hurts my feelings. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who gives us like weekly stuff to do. I know, they're going to change that. That's going to be a definite thing. Like, uh, your, your homework next quarter is do homework in Matt's class. Hey, that's not Matt's homework. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. I'm just gonna come in and see how many uh, how many people are working on the man. So let's see. I'm gonna grab all this crap and unparent it. Remember to save your scenes? Yeah. Nice sets. Your folder. I'm saving my scene as maze final. And a new folder. And I'm going to create a new scene. So I'm creating a new scene specifically for tearing apart my uh, FBX. I'm trying to do this. Because I don't want to clutter that scene. So I can turn this in. Grab all these.
building off things. Like, oh, yeah. The most depressing thing about Thursday is that I wanted an animated it's piece to be like, oh, it's struggling. And then just have like, the day the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can create folders and upload them on Canvas, right? Folders? What do you mean? I up, like don't. to the assignment? No. Oh, under files? Oh, I have no idea. Create folders and upload. Can you guys test real fast? Let's test. No, we cannot. Oh, wait, you know, I'm already really there and uh, there's no upload button. Okay. Uh, you, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's. Uh, we can do a discussion, though. There's a discussion. Towel. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to modify this assignment a little bit, just because I, so I was talking about this beforehand, but like, uh, at the beginning of the quarter, I was like, you know, it's a great learning experience, it's trying to be a professional, and uh, understand the difficulty in uh, setting your own boundaries, understanding deadlines, and having to be the person who is in charge of this, being your own teacher, uh, because the client is uh, not going to do it for you. They're just going to have you sign a piece of paper and then yell at you when it's not done. So I'm going to add a separate assignment to Intro to Environments because I figured out it does not work in a school environment. You just end up, uh, you guys aren't doing enough, and then the project's due, and you know you panic on the last week. So I'm going to add on Canvas a dailies assignment. Uh, and I'm hoping to s I'm going to change some of the total value of project three to be daily uploads of how your project is going. Oh, you want like progress reports? Yeah. Okay. Huh? What? Sorry, I'm just trying not to interrupt. Unless you <laughs> don't care. Kind of uh, but yeah, <laughs> I want to see uh, daily progress. Make sure you at least have the file open once a day. And all that has to be is a screenshot of you working on it. And that'll be worth about 25-30% of the uh, grade on Project 3. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not in their syllabus, so you can't force me to do it. <laughs> or I can't force you to do it. 